My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to take the data that we've been building in previous videos and turn this into a Visio diagram. So if you haven't been watching the previous videos, make sure that you go back and take a look at the way that I built this table, such that each of the individuals who work for our company have an ID number that's unique to them, and so that each of the individuals, except for the CEO, has a number value that they report to within the organization. If everybody has another number that they report to somewhere else in the organization, then when we go to import this into Microsoft Visio, Visio should be able to establish the relationships for us automatically. So once you've built this spreadsheet, you can close it and go over to Microsoft Visio. As you can see, every time that you open Visio, um, you have a set of possible diagrams that you can build, and I want to start with a, an organization chart. When I click on organization chart, notice that the option I'm going to choose here is the one that has the magic wand on it. The idea here is that the magic wand means that uh, it's the wizard for building an org chart. <clears throat> so what we do is we choose the wizard option, click on create, and then it asks us, where the data is that we want to put into this org chart. Um, do I want to enter it manually or do I have a file that's already been created someplace? So I already built this Excel file. I'm going to click next and tell it, yes, an Excel file is the source information. I click next. At this point, I need to go looking for that employee list. So I'll click on browse here look in the business folder here and find employee list. So I've found my employee list spreadsheet that I have saved. And when I click next, it goes in and looks at that information and it says, okay, here are the columns that I was able to identify. When you ask me what the person's name is, well, I found a column called name. I bet that's the one that you want me to use. And I was looking for a column called Reports 2, and I found one called Reports 2. If you hadn't created a spreadsheet that has exactly that same terminology, you'll just use, need to use these drop-down menus in order to map to this data. But Reports 2 and Name are relatively easy to understand. Notice that I do have a first name field, uh, but I don't have a first name column, so I'm just sticking with their full name. So I'll click next. And now the question is, uh, what do you want to display? I want to display what their name is and what their position is. I do not want to display who they report to. And of course their ID number is not something to be displayed here. So it's not giving us that option. I click next. It says, uh, what data do you want to have in the data fields? Again, name and position, click next. And do you have some pictures that you'd like to include? I don't have pictures with my org chart, so please do not include those pictures. Click Next. And as you can see here, if the spreadsheet was really long, which of course mine isn't, uh, I would need to possibly break up that org chart into multiple pages. And you can see here that it would choose to automatically break it across pages for me but it really it doesn't matter in my particular instance. So I click finish and just like that, it builds out the data. You can see that the CEO had nobody that they reported to, so they're automatically the top of the chain. And then underneath the CEO, there were three people who reported to person 001, including Benjamin Russell, who's person 002, or 003, excuse me, and there were two individuals who reported to that. Now, the unfortunate thing is that there's not a tool to automatically refresh this data. Once you've built it from the wizard, it does need to be rebuilt if your data changes, or you can just simply add to this. Um, but moving forward, I think Visio will start to have those tools in future versions. Okay, in the next video, I'm going to demonstrate how to bring in additional data and display it next to elements within my chart. Thank you.